Right, so question 20, a little bit more algebra. Um, we're asked to factorize x squared minus 12x plus 27. So this is your typical quadratic. Um, so because it's x squared, we're going to have x in each brackets. And we need two numbers that multiply to give me plus 27, but add to give minus 12. Um, so a little bit of thought, minus 3, minus 9, minus 3 times minus 9 is plus 27, and minus 3 plus minus 9 is minus 12. You can check that, and you should check it by expanding it back out just to make sure you get this. Hence, we need to solve the equation, x squared minus 12x plus 27 equals 0. So what values of x will make this expression 0? So when x equals 3, when if x was 3, this part here would be 0, and 0 times this would be equal to 0. And x equal to 9 will also make this equal to 0, because if that was 9, 9 take away 9 is 0. 0 times this, doesn't matter what it is, will be 0, and that also is equal to 0. And then the second part, factorize y squared minus 100. Um, that's a square number, and that's a square number, and there's a difference. So it's the difference of two squares. So you, you should be able to spot that. It's going to be y minus 10 and y plus 10. And again, you can check that by expanding out. y times y is y squared. Uh, y times plus 10 is 10y. Minus 10 times y is minus 10y. They cancel out. And then minus 10 times plus 10 is minus 100. So do check your answers by expanding out in the exam.